person. I'm going to share a little bit with you about drowning our sorrows. In 2007, the ancestor, Dr. Melva Wilson Coston, published a book called African American Christian Worship. Dr. Coston was a civil rights activist and a professor of worship and music, two of my passions. And in her book, she told of a sacred practice used by our enslaved ancestors uh, to speak what was considered to be unspeakable at the time. Whether it be in a deep lament, or a forbidden praise, or a plan of escape, or whatever could only be shared in trusted space away from their enslaver. Ancestors would gather in what Dr. Costin and other black scholars called the invisible institution. Out and away from the oppressor's gaze. It was at night when they would gather, like we're gathering here tonight. And they would go and they would fill pots of water, fill them all the way up. And once the pots of water were filled, one among them would speak into the vessel. They would cover it, they would speak into the vessel to drown out the sound of their words. Dr. Costa wrote that sometimes they would even hold hands around the big pots and sing into the water so that the sound would not carry beyond the hushed harbor, which would often be off in the woods at night. Tonight we will practice Sankofa. We will reach back using the power of ritual to embody the liberated worship space of the gathering. So tonight we are being invited to safely, safely drown our sorrows together.